Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're gonna make cherry buttercream. And this uh, recipe pipes really well on top of a cupcake. So it's a nice, firm buttercream recipe. Now, if you saw in my previous video, um, the cherry filling, I showed you all kinds of tips on how to easily pit the cherries. So here's a bowl that I've already done of pitted fresh cherries. I'm gonna put it right in my blender to blend these up really good. Now we wanna make sure that there is no chunks. We wanna make sure when we puree this, it's gonna be completely uh, nothing but liquid because if we have chunks of cherries in our buttercream, it's gonna separate our buttercream. It might look good at first, but then give it, give it an hour or so and you're gonna see that buttercream start to separate because the moisture in the little pieces of fruit is gonna slowly release and cause your buttercream to separate. So that's why we're gonna blend this really, really well until it's a very fine puree. And then we're only gonna need a fourth cup of this for this recipe. So I'm gonna pour out one fourth cup and set it aside while I get my butter ready. Now I'm gonna need one cup of room temperature butter and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my mixing bowl and I have my paddle attachment on. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the puree, the well blended cherry puree, I'm gonna put that in here and I'm gonna blend it well on medium until it's fully incorporated. That might take about five minutes. And um, the reason we wanna blend this together first is also to help uh, prevent the buttercream from separating. So we want to make sure that the cherry puree is well blended with the butter first before we add the rest of the ingredients. Then we're going to scrape the sides because we need to make sure all of that is in there and then we're going to continue blending it until it's all incorporated again. Okay, now that it's mixed well, we're going to add five cups of powdered sugar. going to scrape the sides to make sure that we get all the powdered sugar that's on the sides down into the buttercream. And we'll give it its final mix in another minute and then our buttercream should be all done and ready to be piped on our cupcakes. So today I did chocolate cupcakes with cherry filling which is really good and if you want to see that recipe please check it out. It's the cherry filling for cupcakes and cakes. I'm just going to pipe this right on the middle and then go right around. And there's our cupcakes. Thanks for joining me today and please subscribe to my channel for lots of fun cake decorating videos and 